Welcome back to No Nonsense Reviews and How To's, Hacking the Sony PlayStation Mini Part 9. Today I'm going to show you how to update AutoBleam version 0.9. There are several new features available with version 0.9 including Bluetooth support and Wi-Fi support. Now I'm not going to show you how to add Bluetooth and Wi-Fi in this video, I'll show you that in a future video. But I will show you the steps you need to take to update to 0.9 if you want to get your system ready for Bluetooth and Wi-Fi in the future. Let's get started. If you remember from the first video in this series, I showed you that you needed to download an LBoot file in order to get OTG cable support for your PlayStation Mini. Now if you want to upgrade to AutoBleam 0.9 and get that Wi-Fi and Bluetooth support, you're going to need to remove that LBoot file that you previously installed. Here's how you're going to do that. The first thing you want to do is go to this website that's in the description below and click on this uninstall image link. It's going to download a file, just save it to your computer. Once you've downloaded it to your computer, unzip it. You don't need the zip file anymore. And here's what you just downloaded. The next thing you want to do is go to this website that's also in the description below and download this software. Once you've downloaded it, open the program up and click on select image. You're going to want to find that uninstall image that you downloaded earlier. Just double click it. The next thing you want to do is make sure that you're putting it on a USB stick. As you can see I have a FAT32 USB drive. It doesn't matter what the volume name is as long as it's FAT32 and then click flash. So once that's done, head over to your PlayStation, make sure nothing is plugged into it. Then plug in that USB stick in the second controller port. Plug in the HDMI cable. Then plug in the power cable. Do it in this order. Now we want to turn on our PlayStation Mini. The green light will turn off and then the orange light will come on. The next thing you want to do is remove the USB stick from your PlayStation and turn your PlayStation on. What you've done here is you've basically removed that LBoot file and you've factory reset your Sony PlayStation. The next thing I'm going to do is plug in that external hard drive I had with all the games to see if the Sony PlayStation picks it up. It shouldn't. Sure enough, it didn't pick it up. We have reset our PlayStation. The next thing you want to do is go to this website that's in the description below and download AutoBleam 0.9. You can choose any one of these links to download it. Once it's downloaded, you want to extract it. And I'm just going to extract AutoBleam version 0.9. I don't need the theme packs, but if you want the theme packs, they are certainly there for you to download. 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a USB stick again that's formatted to FAT32 and the label drive is Sony in all caps and I'm going to drag these folders over into it. Back at the PlayStation, I'm going to put the USB stick in, make sure the PlayStation is unplugged, then put the power cord into the PlayStation and turn it on. I don't have any games, this is just AutoBleam 0.9. I press start, select, select, and I'm in the apps here. I'm going to scroll over to the kernel installer. I'm going to press X. I'm going to press X again. And what I want to do here is press square. I want to do the full backup first. This will take a while. I have fast forwarded through it, but it will certainly take quite a long time for this to happen. Once that's done, I'm going to go back into the kernel installer, press X for OK. And this time I want to flash the kernel. I'm going to press X this time. Again, this will take longer than you're seeing it here. I've fast forwarded through it. The PlayStation will then power off. Back at the computer with the USB stick plugged in, you can see I have a brand new LBoot file. I'm going to copy that and save it somewhere on my computer. That is the backup of your PlayStation files. What I want to do now is plug in that external hard drive that has all of my games on it, and I want to copy these AutoBleam folders over to the hard drive. So I'm just going to drag and drop them over. Back at the PlayStation with the hard drive plugged in through the OTG cable. I'm going to press start. I should see this start to flash. There it goes, orange and green. That means it's picking up AutoBleam. And let's head over to the PlayStation. Here it is booting up. and AutoBleam 0.9 has started. I'm gonna press X to scan. It needs to pick up all of those Sony PlayStation games that are on my hard drive. There we go, 1307 games. I will press start to start AutoBleam or Evolution UI. And here are all the PlayStation games I have. I'm also gonna to wanna to check if all of my retro games are still here, press select. I will press L2 and select at the same time now. And here are all the systems and all the games that were already previously installed on my external hard drive. In the app section, you can see there are a ton of new apps here. You don't need to upgrade to 0 0.9 if you don't want to. And even if you do, you don't need to do that whole L boot thing that I showed you earlier if you don't want Bluetooth and Wi-Fi support, you can just drag and drop over the new AutoBleam 0.9 folders onto your hard drive uh, to get the new apps to get the upgrade if you want. But it is very important to note that if you do want Bluetooth and Wi-Fi support, you do have to follow the instructions in this video or you risk bricking your system. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching.